Serac trying to chase him down and does. Trips him up from behind. Holy cow, I'm glad that kid switched the linebacker. Pass is tipped up in the air and intercepted. Picked off by Serac. Scrambling out and finally goes down. Chad Serac able to drag down the Notre Dame quarterback. Beautiful break on the football by Chad Serac. Lawrence is dragged down from behind. Serac takes him to the turf. Try to jump pass and it's intercepted. Serac intercepts it. Holy cow. Chad Surratt, one of Bucky Brooks' top five linebackers there in the 2021 NFL Draft. He's explosive. He's got many talents. We're going to discuss some of those talents uh, with his, with him here live on NFL Now as Chaz Surratt joins us uh, here on NFL Network. Chaz, uh, looking ahead to Pro Day coming up uh, this week. Uh, what are you expecting? What, what's your biggest goal uh, coming into this performance here uh, on Friday? Yeah, I got goals for each tour. I just want to come out there and look smooth and, and fast and explosive. Um, and obviously, we go out there and run fast. Uh, that's a big thing. So, you know, I have numbers in my head. I'm just trying to hit every number uh, that I have for, you know, set for myself. So I'm looking forward to Monday. Yes, sir. Yeah, Monday, the day we're looking ahead to. I'm getting excited about it because, uh, Chaz, it's, in terms of evaluating you as a player, you, many people don't know. You switch positions uh, coming in, starting seven games at quarterback, then making the move to linebacker, uh, in hindsight now, of course, we can look back at, at all you've accomplished since then and see it was the right move. But in that moment, making that decision, uh, what was that process like to you? Yeah, it was a, a long process. I was, you know, I looked on my dad and my parents and my brother um, for kind of guidance, um, looking to like kind of what's next in my career and um, just trying to get to the NFL. That's been a li lifelong goal for me. So trying to put myself in the best position as possible, you know, to get there and, you know, as, as well as help, help my team win games. Um, so that was all in the, in, in the process for me and ultimately why I chose, you know, to make the switch. In terms of uh, playing the linebacker position now, you've got that, you've got that perspective uh, from playing quarterback, and a lot of guys played quarterback, but not a lot played it all the way up into college. What, what has that perspective added to your game? Yeah, I think it, it allows me to see certain things, you know, other, you know, people on defense might not see. And then the way I approach the game is a little bit different. Um, I think I got, you know, I've, I've watched film as a quarterback for, you know, three years in college. So transitioning to that, to, you know, how I approach the game at linebacker and watching film. And I think being more prepared than the next guy is something that helped me um, be able to make the switch and uh, make it a little bit more easier on myself. In terms of you, you've, Made it to the first team, all ACC, you led the teams in tackles for losses and sacks. Did you think uh, that this was in the cards for you after the switch? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, the whole reason I made the switch is, you know, to get to NFL. So, yeah, I definitely expected um, to get to this point. Um, you know, I put in a lot of hard work, um, you know, a lot of hours with my teammates, with my coaches, a lot of pre preparation goes into this. So, yeah, I definitely expected to be at this point. Um, you know, maybe not, you know, first year coming on and, you know, being first team all ACC, my first year linebacker, that's kind of, you know, I was just looking to go out there and start and make plays. But, you know, it, it came with it. I'm glad I had some some success so far. So I'm just trying to keep it going. Um, yes, sir. And I think I got a lot, you know, a lot of growing to do as a linebacker. So I'm just looking, you know, forward to what's next in the process. Yeah, that's the, the key term, uh, Chaz, upside, right? People see that you've only been playing the position for so long and they see the athleticism as well. It's going to look. Uh, just at you demonstrating that, uh, just just you know, posting the the bunnies on the on the bird machine, the windmill. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yes. What um, w when you're planning out a, a dunk like this that you're going to post, uh, take us through that process. Uh, yeah, I, I think this was like my junior year of high school. Uh, I want to say, um, and I don't know, I just you know threw it on there. We were you know we had pra practice or something, and I was just messing around after practice. Uh, yes, yeah, so I just threw it on there. Yeah, I actually forgot about that video until I seen it <laughs> the other day. Yes, sir. The internet never forgets, Chaz, but it's, it's yeah. always good. It's always good to remind people that you have that capability and the explosion coming through this process uh, helps as well. You, you and your brother, uh, who you've um, had a chance, right, to, to spend a lot of time with. We've, we've been able to see him uh, play at Wake, decided to opt out. What's that relationship like, and what do you think – uh, the, the next steps in his career are going to be like? Yeah, I mean, that's probably my closest friend, you know, somebody I look to every day. Um, you know, I'm really proud of him and what he did at Wake Forest. I mean, I think he's going to have a, a great NFL career. I mean, he's he's the hardest worker I know. 
um, you know, I, that I've ever seen. So beginning to be around him and spend these last three months with him has been really great because we didn't go to college together, obviously. So getting to be back kind of like when, you know, we're under the same roof and being able to train together every day has been a blessing and, you know, have him in this process with me. I mean, he's going through the same exact stuff I am right now. So being able to, you know, uh, gauge him and, you know, how we're both doing and, you know, anything we, you know, that comes up that we think about, we're able to just talk right, you know, with each other. So it's definitely been great to have Sage right there with me um, during this process. And Chaz, it's weird to say about a game that's thousands of years old, uh, but chess is hot right now. Uh, thanks to Queens Gambit, a lot of people playing and you, a former competitive chess player, um, you've got a, you, you've got a lot of skill in the game. Have, have people fallen victim to you uh, now that now that we've got more people playing chess? Uh, you've been able to show uh, your skills there. <laughs> yes, sir. I mean, for sure. When I you know I trained the house athlete this that for this uh, this time, so a lot of the guys there are playing chess. So like for me, I never you know I haven't I haven't met too many people in college you know, on the football team that was playing chess. So when I got the I was an athlete. A lot of more people were playing chess. So we were playing chess like every day in the morning while we were doing like recovery stuff. So, you know, I definitely, you know, got some victories under my belt. So now it was cool to see, you know, other guys uh, that's going through the process doing, you know, playing chess with me as well, playing on our phones. So now it's, it's definitely a grown game, especially with the, the Netflix series. So now that's cool to see. Talented on the court, talented on the other courts, talented on the field as well. We'll be able to be compensated for it coming up here. Uh, Chaz, good luck at Pro Day and good luck in the NFL Thank draft. You. Thank you. I appreciate it.